One week after Israel's airstrike on the Gaza Strip, Gaza's in turmoil and Palestinians are outraged. They are hitting us, normal people, with F-16 planes. A person who does that is not a human being. Last Sunday, Israeli warplanes retaliated for rocket fire from the Gaza Strip, pounding dozens of security compounds across the Hamas ruled territory and killing more than 200 and wounding nearly 400. Palestinian Authority Prime Minister Salam Fayyad reacts. Israeli Minister of Foreign Affairs Tzipi Livni defends Israel's actions. It is the translation of the right of Israel to defend itself, that there is no other alternative, and we are doing what we need to do in order to defend our citizens. On December 19th, Hamas ended its ceasefire with Israel and began to fire rockets at its southern cities. In response, Israel launched a major airstrike. Seven of us were sleeping in a room when we heard the explosion. The walls collapsed around us. It took two hours to get help, but my sisters did not make it. It was too late. Palestinian National Authority President Mahmoud Abbas calls on Hamas to end hostilities. The tension began in summer 2005 when Israel disengaged from the Gaza Strip. خروجنا من غزة ونقل السيادة الفلسطينيين يحتم عليهم فرض النظام والقانون ومنع الإرهاب هذا هو الامتحان الحقيقي الذي يقفون أمامه In early 2006, then Prime Minister Ehud Olmert cut aid to the Palestinian Authority ودانو مياد لأخر بخيرات برشوط الفلسطينيات إم سيوم كونتا عشر من مشلة المعبار إسرائيل مفسيكا لألتار لأعبير كسفين لرشوط الفلسطينيات Legislator Al In June 2006, Israel launched Operation Summer Rain in response to the Second Lebanon War, during which Palestinians captured Corporal Gilad Shalit. But Israeli Ambassador to the United to the Nations, Danny Gillerman, explains seriously. why Shalit is so to important to Israel. And we call on every world leader who wants this region to be peaceful, to do everything they can to impress on President Abbas and the Palestinian Authority the importance of having this soldier released immediately. But the tension did not abate. In May 2007, Gaza continued to attack Israel with Qassam rockets. In June 2007, Hamas militants took over Gaza. Some celebrated in the streets, while others remained cautious. Gaza Strip is a hostile territory, and the meaning is that even though when it comes to the humanitarian needs, we have our own responsibility, on the other hand, all the needs which are more than the humanitarians, uh, humanitarian needs will not be supplied by, Israeli, by Israel to uh, Gaza Strip. United States Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice defends Palestinians' humanitarian needs. We will not abandon the innocent uh, Palestinians in Gaza and indeed will make um, every effort to, to deal with their humanitarian needs. Nevertheless, Israel closed its borders to Gaza in response to the imminent instability. United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian Refugees spokesman Christopher Gunness comments on the dire situation. Well, Gaza is completely locked up. It's completely closed down. None of our humanitarian goods or workers can get in or out. I would say that this can only make a dire humanitarian situation even worse. Our experience is that this radicalizes an already demoralized and isolated population, and the radicalization of Gaza does not serve the interests of peace. Now, the fighting on the border intensifies. Now, much of Gaza's infrastructure is damaged, and food shortages torment civilians. Likewise, Israel's streets remain deserted because of the high level of fear. And as clashes persist in East Jerusalem, tension continues to run high as ever, and the war goes on.